Away from that, the Indian Space Research Organization has put out the first moon image captured by India's ambitious lunar mission, the Chandrayaan-2. The image is right now on your screens. It was taken at a height of about 2,650 kilometers from the lunar surface on the 21st of August. Identified in the picture are the Mare Oriental Basin and Apollo craters. Keeping it with India, a major setback to former Indian Finance Minister and Home Minister P. Chidambaram. A special CBI court sent him to a five-day CBI remand. P. Chidambaram will remain in CBI custody until the 26th of August. It's been an action-packed day again where Chidambaram reached the Ruse Avenue court today, uncertain about his fate. He was accompanied by a battery of lawyers and top Congress legal experts. But all their efforts went in vain as the CBI eventually got more time to interrogate the Congress party leader. He will be spending the weekend with the CBI. The 73-year-old will be medically examined every 48 hours. Remember, speaking for the CBI, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta had sought a five-day custody of Chidambaram, saying he did not cooperate or respond to any summons by the CBI. They had sought custodial interrogation on the grounds that Chidambaram needs to be confronted with relevant documents and other accused in the case. Meanwhile, arguing for Chidambaram, his battery of lawyers, including Kapil Sibbal and Abhishek Manu Singhvi, said that his son, Karti Chidambaram, was granted bail in the same case by the Delhi High Court. They maintain that Chidambaram has never skipped an interrogation and that the CBI's words should not be taken as the gospel truth. Chidambaram, who was nowhere to be seen for over 27 hours, surfaced at the Congress party headquarters to address the media. Late last evening, he made an impassioned case about his whereabouts, saying that he was not running away from the law, but in fact was seeking protection from it. Now, let's take a look into what Chidambaram is accused of in the INX media and the Aircel Maxis cases. In the INX media case, Chidambaram is accused of violating the Foreign Investment Promotion Board's rules. INX Media received foreign funds to the tune of more than 300 crore rupees from three Mauritius-based firms, a violation of the FIPB order. It also invested money in INX Media, another violation of the order. The CBI says that Karti Chidambaram, the son of P. Chidambaram, also benefited from the deal and kickbacks were transferred to his account to settle the foreign direct investment issues. Our correspondent Jessica Taneja gets us more. After a marathon hearing, the Central Bureau of Investigation has been able to get five-day custody of former Finance Minister P. Chitambaram for further interrogation. His plea against the CBI will be heard tomorrow in the Supreme Court. In the meanwhile, Mr. Chitambaram and his lawyers can move Delhi High Court to get bail. And if the bail is denied from the Delhi High Court, they can move Supreme Court. Jessica Taneja with Dilla journalist Akarsh, World is One, New Delhi.